When I was younger, I used to collect all kinds of like nerdy utility stuff and room decorations, especially from things like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, which is really not that different from what I still do. <laughs> to be honest. But there were certain things I could never get a hold of, either because they were just too expensive or they just didn't exist. One of the things I wanted most of all was an epic fantasy laptop case, preferably made of leather, but you know, being a broke-ass teenager without any skills... You do the math. But now that I'm a grown-ass woman, I can do what I want, and I have also acquired a few more skills since back then. So I figured I'm gonna make one myself. So what I have in mind is just a high fantasy laptop case that looks like a piece of armor. So the past couple of weeks I've been thinking about how to make this design, and I think I've come up with something pretty cool. This design that I've ended up on is kind of like Dragon Hunter meets elf. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see how I'm gonna do uh, because I'm always um, planning overly complicated things. Ah! Ah! <sighs> but I think I can do it. Okay, so let's get to template making. <laughs> I don't know, I love it already. <laughs> it's just paper. Like you can totally access everything in here. Let's just take this thing apart and see like where we go from here. This is basically the whole bag and I've color coded them and everything. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a nerd. I've also marked out the spots where I'm gonna have rivets so I can punch the holes for those as well. Let's just chop, chop it, chop, chop with the box knife. Let's go. Oh yeah, I know, I'm wearing my Christmas sweater. <laughs> and it's not December, it's just November, but... Go away, Christmas gatekeepers! Nobody likes you. We're gonna begin the carving today. And this is the pattern. I love this pattern! I basically just found a, a dragon scale pattern that I liked on Google and photoshopped it to be just a clean pattern. It's probably gonna be tedious, but I don't care. If there's a lot of background noise, it's just the cats playing upstairs and they're being really loud. <laughs> anyway, I pushed all the carving stuff to the side for just a second because we have to deal with something else first. And that is, uh, if you look at the drawing, the centerpiece is nothing. <laughs> in the drawing, it's just a black like circle in the middle. And at first I was kind of like thinking, Maybe I should just leave it black or maybe I should carve something. Wasn't really sure. But the solution was kind of presented to me when this thing arrived in the mail. It's just a silicon sphere mold. And I was thinking that the centerpiece could be like a dragon eye. And we tested it out. Uh, yeah, this epoxy circle isn't perfect, it's got some indents and stuff, which is why we have to make a new one. But as a proof of concept, just have a look at this. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. <laughs> and it's just a printout, like it's it's just paper and epoxy. <laughs> and yeah, I know I know what you're thinking. It's 
It kind of looks like Sauron's eye, but why do you think I chose this one? Okay, so let me go find my epoxy stuff. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna find it. This, that mixer stuff. See, gloves, hair elastic. The best thing about this is the pumps. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't really want to make it entirely clear. I want to put just a tiny, tiny bit of orange pigment in there to tint it a little bit, but not too much. Let's do this epoxy pour thing. put the epoxy to the side that probably has to dry for I'm guessing 24 hours or more in the meantime we can try to complete all the carving and oh my god I finished these four panels yesterday and I'm so happy with them and I think oh my god when I put it all together so let's just spray all of these down and get to the carving How you doing? Sorry for just sliding into this video, but I want to take one moment to appreciate all our patrons and our YouTube members because you guys honestly make a huge difference for us in creating these videos, getting the materials we need, all that jazz. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate every single one of you and that you make a difference for us. So as just the tiniest token of appreciation, I have transferred the patterns for the laptop case to a file that our patrons and YouTube members can download if you want to try your hands at making this case. Now back to the video. Now back to the video. Now back to the video. I'm not gonna include that dance. <laughs> I don't want to commit social suicide. Eh, probably already did that a long time ago. So I kind of felt like I had to bring out my inner Targaryen just to complete this piece. Although I do realize I look a bit more like Viserys than Daenerys. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. I recently bought these uh, different colors of paint. I want to test it out on the leather and see what it looks like. So this is the main color I'm going to use. Light blue Phoebe's dye. <gasps> oh, it's so freaking royal. I love it. Yeah, light blue my ass. The, oh my god, I'm going to have dye everywhere. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Should have put on gloves. What if we put some dye in like a spray bottle and try to spray it on top of the blue? Maybe that will create a cool effect. Hold on. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. Oh, I really like it. Okay, let's try the... Let's try the silver paint. I love these colors. Holy frick! <gasps> it's gonna look so good!
Before we move on to the next step, I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in everything from photography and design to just drawing and programming. I mean, you name it. So recently I've wanted to get better at storytelling, mostly for the sake of our YouTube videos and scripting them. And I came across this course called How to Share Ideas That Inspires Others, which is, well, what I want to do, obviously. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed the course. You can find this and tons of other interesting courses on Skillshare and you can access everything through their premium membership. There you can also find learners who have the same interest as you. You can join groups to give and receive feedback on projects or just chat with like-minded learners. Currently there are more than 7 million creators learning on Skillshare and they're all there to just fuel their curiosity, their creativity and even their careers. Overall, it's really just a nice place to keep learning and thriving. So Skillshare is actually giving away a free two-month unlimited access trial to all our subscribers. So check out the link down below if you want to test it out. And after the trial is over, it's about 10 bucks a month. So thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. And back to the project. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this color combination so much. I just want to start sewing this thing together and I'll go over the spots that need some refreshing later with a silver paint. So what we need is uh, some pliers because the thread can be a bit hard to get through sometimes. Two needles, some waxed linen thread and all. Oh, and contact glue. I'm going to use contact glue first and then sew it together after. So it's going to be both glue and thread. Let's get to it. Okay, so this sewing ordeal is a lot more exhausting than I expected, but it's turning out so good. <laughs> I love this box stitch, like, mm, so good. So I had a bit of an issue with sewing on these pouches and that was because the front cover I didn't account for when I measured the top of the lids. So they were just a bit too short so what I had to do was to cut off the sides of the front and then sew it inside instead of on top of uh, the sides and the bottom of the pouch. But now that's all fixed and I covered up the edges here with silver paint. But what I've kind of realized now that I've started to put things together is that there's too much silver. <laughs> I don't know, I just... I'm not a huge fan of how this looks right now. I just think the silver is kind of overpowering. So I took a picture of this, went into Photoshop and tried to meddle a bit with it and came up with this design. And I tried it out on this piece and I love it. I think it looks so much better than what this looks like. So my plan now is really just to fix the front of these and try to apply like this pattern where I can and do the same thing to the pieces that I haven't sewn together yet. So I'm gonna do that first before we move on.
been able to fulfill my childhood dream of having an epic fantasy laptop case that looks like armor. <laughs> And also, it feels really good to have made something that I know I will use in my everyday life, like a, an actual utility thing. So if you would like to see me do more leatherworking stuff, let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought of this project as well. If you want to follow along on what we do outside of YouTube and just progress on new projects, make sure to check us out on Instagram and or Twitter. Follow us there or, or don't. <laughs> I mean, you do what you want, but that's where we are. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon with another project. Goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs>